And we are working with different companies about the mobile mapping services, but our main partner and technology, this is like a GIA system under Hexagon its structure, Hexagon company. First time we are implementing this system in Azerbaijan with electrical utility provider company. In this case, we are starting to work in, in different ways. For example, hardware. Second, it's software. Third one, it's solution. How we can implementing this is all system to inside of the system for Azari Sheikh. Our partnership started the globally with airborne sensors. And until now, last four years, we are working together with Leica G system with Hexagon about the bringing the airborne sensors to Azerbaijan and starting to capture, preparing the its the auto mapping and also using this data for developing Azerbaijani economy. Our guest today is Elshan Musayev, Director EKM Global Consulting. Elshan, thank you so much for finding this time. Welcome to WGIC podcast. Thank you so much, Banu, for the invitation, for your time. I am ready to talk with you. Fantastic. Uh, Elshan, my first question to you is EKM Global Consulting has been in business for over a decade now and has been providing business and management consulting services, right? Can you tell us more about the company and the idea behind the founding of EKM Global? Thank you so much for this question. We are founded together with my wife, this company, it's 12 years ago and 2013 before we are moving to Germany. And our for, first, it's a idea about the bringing the new education to German market, and after this to market of the Europe. But it's unfortunately online business at that time. It's not allowed. It's developed in Germany. In this case, we are trying to three four years open some school or training center, which one we can providing the services online. But this is not success. After this, we are starting to work with like bridge between technology and real economy. And last mm -hmm. five years, we are working more in Azerbaijan market with our services and technology. Okay, thank you so much uh, for giving us the background information. I want to ask you now, EKM uh, Global Consulting has been facilitating several services in 3D mobile mapping using ground penetrating radar and other aspects, right? Can you help us understand your services? Okay, and we are working with different companies about the mobile mapping services, but our main partner and technology, this is like a GS system, under Hexagon, its structure, Hexagon company. And <clears throat> we are already started to use first, it's like a ultimate two equipment, which one is equipped with uh, is LIDAR, with photogrammetry, with camera, and also exactly it's GNSS antenna. This is helping to the customer capture the territory, having the finally it's a photo, having the point cloud and with exactly coordinate system. First time we are implementing this system in Azerbaijan with electrical utility provider company, but we also, when we are starting to implementation, we are see we needed the, some different type of the software also for using this data, this huge amount of the data. In this case, we are together with our partner from Slovak Republic, prepare special uh, software under name of the other sky and we're having the three type of the licenses first uh, first license about the studio which one we can importing the any data from the from like a trimble of another providers and second data for its uh, viewer which one it's uh, any person can be see the data it's the same time it's a photo point cloud with different uh, views and also we can put like it's a push button and you can see how this is already captured and with exactly with coordinate system which brings it to google maps or open street maps this is doesn't matter and this is we're having the three uh, and also we're having the it's editor 
software, which one you can put in the different type of the layer. You can put the all data to inside of the this software. For now, we are working for automated the future extraction. This is little bit difficulty. It's uh, less job from the people, but it's automatically system can detecting the all infrastructure details. But this is our job for today and for the future. Okay, thank you so much for elucidating that. Would you want to cite one of the major uh, and a recent complex project that you have implemented? Uh, yes, but I'm already for now talking about this. It's uh, this company name of the Azari Sheikh. And when we are starting this project in Azerbaijan, nobody did project looks like with mobile mapping services and this data and work it with point cloud. This is a real new. In this case, we are starting to work in, in different ways. For example, hardware. Second, it's software. Third one, it's solution. How we can implementing this is all system to inside of the system for Azari Sheikh. And finally, we are preparing the special maps, which one helping to the company, working with G2C and very much easy make his services. For example, if person come to his come to Azar Sheikh and saying I want to join to his system and he can open this map, can see in the coordinate system of the house and automatically decided the system can show to him how many meter and its kilometer it's a uh, it's substation near to this house. And we are for now working for calculating also immediately. Maybe person can be paying the on place and not it's uh, losing the any time or day. This is it's a real our uh, one of the great project. For now we are uh, working with some of another partner about the assessment for water resources and also developing some digital twin software for water resources assessment and management system. Okay, thank you so much for that elaboration. At the beginning of the conversation, Elshan, you mentioned that you are partnering with Hexagon, Hexagon Geosystems, right? Can you, uh, which is also a WGIC member, right? Yeah. So would you like to help us understand uh, about your partnership and how we have been able to leverage uh, this partnership for business growth? Good question. And uh, what I'm already saying, and we are helping in Azerbaijani company buying the Leica equipment. The, this is our first point, but our partnership started the globally with airborne sensors. And until now, last four years, we are working together with Leica G system with Hexagon about the bringing the airborne sensors to Azerbaijan and starting to capture, preparing the its the auto mapping and also using this data for developing Azerbaijani economy. And also our my main goal, Azerbaijan start to prepare the own geo portal. And until now we are we not have success for now, but we are working the for this way and I'm thinking in the near future we will have some success but and I really want to say thank you for Hexagon for Klaus Neumann its vice president for airborne sensors and I'm learned a lot a lot and until now I am learning this system and when I am starting to talk with about the selling this equipment to Azerbaijan the company want to first of all sell but we are start to talk about the infrastructure system, about the IT infrastructure and something else. And this is not enough. You are just buying the sensor. You are also needed to buy aircraft and special aircraft, and you are needed to have enough place in your ser servers or it's a cloud. And it's most important, you needed to have more qualified people, already trained people. And in this case, when I'm starting to work with any customer first of my question about the do you have professional development center or do you have plan to open this is its most important for now it's every day it's coming the new technology and new equipment but if you not have trained people you cannot do nothing this is it's needed to customer understand this 
Yeah, thanks for that uh, information. Elshan, uh, uh, building on what you have just uh, said, um, you have also been active in educational innovation, probably the what is stemming from your experience uh, in the field and in the business, right? Can you tell us what motivated uh, or driven to you to work in this domain and how you've been able to advance international educational frameworks? Okay, I had it some experience and one of my experience, it's middle of the 2000. I am working with, in a World Bank project and with developing the business incubator and techno parks. And second education with International Baccalaureate Organization. When I'm already working with World Bank project about the uh, helping to the startups and in techno parks members for developing his system is technology. And I am taking a lot of training from World Bank about the technology transfer and how we can help him to the young generation to start his own startup. And here I am already saw and my experience, education is most important. But it's I am not for now believe it's a standard type of education working for a uh, work suit for the people. I am thinking it's a most important people can do starting to do by hand or it's starting to work. This is project based education or competency based education or it's a game based education. This is it's much helping to the people for understanding. It's learning. It's always theory. This is doesn't work. In this case, for my experience about the International Baccalaureate Organization, I already had success. I am starting the one school, private school in Azerbaijan, 2011, and I am help her. It's uh, starting to offer its IBO diploma program. This is high school program. But after this, starting the 2012, between 2016, I am helping the governmental school starting to offer the old IB program. It's primary years, middle years, and diploma program. This is it's not easy, and it's, we are needed to changing the totally philosophy about the preparing the, some policies or something else. I am involved with for all. all. I am already work with international educators, and this is its real most important people understanding. And without education, without learning, we cannot do nothing. And in this case, for now, I'm when I'm offer the some technologies. First of all, it's my first question about the want to you learn or do you have enough qualified people for using this system? If not, well, I'm having a lot of partners and also by myself, I'm giving to special training for him how he can start to manage the system. OK. Elchan, I really like the your idea about concept-based, game-based, and project-based uh, training and education frameworks. Uh, are you able to bring these frameworks and your concepts to the Jewish patient education and training as well, especially in Azerbaijan or in Europe? Of course, we are already before when we are did our project in Azerbaijan, in Azerbaijan, for example, we are offered a lot of type of the trainings, but. Some trainings works well, some training it's not. In this case, I'm having the idea and also we are doing for now how we can do this. It's first of all, it's motivation. Without motivation, you are not needed to offer some trainings or information for some people. If it's person not want to learn something new and or he's having the big family, he's having the problem at home and want to finish the job and immediately go to home. This is it's not our customer. This is not our target group. I am believe for now we are needed to start to work with university, university students who have motivation working in the geospatial sphere and inviting him. And second way, people don't study or not have any educational background. But he is want to want to learn. OK, I am thinking this is part of the people also good for us. If he is ready or she is ready for starting to do something and have motivation, this is more than enough for starting, just for starting. After this, I am thinking we are needed to have some assessment for soft assessment for understanding. 
how we can do how we can work with this person and or preparing the special plan and also i am thinking we are needed to all structure who want to have success long term success he is needed to have training for trainers he is needed to see the potential of the people maybe for one year two years or three years this is people can be became of the trainer okay thanks for that elucidation elshan my last question to you elshan is about uh, ekm being part of wgic you've been uh, a member of wgic for a few years now and you're also serving on the wgic board as well as the industry academia committee right can you tell us uh, your experiences of uh, being a member wgic member and how it has helped ekm where very young member and you are already saying it's a few years yes this is it's working it's personally for me it's well i am seeing the people who are had its huge success in his life in gear special business i am very young it's, but it's a, personally i'm 50 years old i am not young but in gear special businesses i am very young i am ready to learn it every day and also when i am seeing the situation inside of the world GIC and when I'm participating in the meetings and I'm seeing about the vision and this is huge education for me. And in this case, I'm trying to bring my business experience and also helping to the world GIC about the doing something. I am really thinking this is it's very nice family and I'm of the some part of this family and here really i am seeing first of all my role for learner and also supporter if it's the world gic needed my support i am about the academy committee i am it's really also very new member and it's a few days ago i am participated some meeting and i am seeing some preparation for documentation and also thinking about the scholarship and this is it's real real very nice and these people really have very good experience but i'm thinking we needed to start to doing something we are needed to thinking about the we can do the mistake okay we can we will do mistake we can changing and going to the future this is we not needed to stop it education it's really most important and if we are love our kids if we are want to give best education for our people for our kids and also for some consultation we are needed to start to do this for this another people also it doesn't matter it's my children or it's children for another person just want to share our experience and also what i want to say to you about my personality starting the last year i am start to develop my youtube channel under name of the motivation by elshan and I am sharing with the people my experience about the personal development, about in my personal and business life, which kind of problem I am already had, and how I can solving this issue, and also about the business part also. I am thinking it's all person who had good experience needed to be ready to share with another people. Fantastic. I really like that your motivation to share your experience, your insight and your wisdom with the world. Thank you so much for this conversation, Elshan. Thank you so much, Banu, for nice meeting and nice interview.